yours. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our update on our CNT fundraising options. Let me just say from this beginning that everyone is doing a fantastic job going after many of the items that we have up for auction. Now, if you were watching our last presentation, I sort of presented the first 33, 35 items that were released the day on October 1st. Now, all those items, if they have a bid, they come into an end tomorrow. So if you've been looking at something or you know wanting to bid on something that was there from day one, tomorrow's the last day. If you have it as your watch, if you've been watching it, uh, you know, through the eBay application, then you might get a notification saying one day left, or if you have a cell phone, 14 minutes left before the auction ends. So, uh, but I, I first, I have to say that the donors and what they donated this year has just been a phenomenal. And you bidders, woo, you're doing a great job. As I speak right now, we have, we have bids exceeding $1,000. And all that is from donated products, people that either made things specifically for the auction or with the auction in mind, or from doing a broom closet clear out that they removed some things. So just to get us started for this session, our second session, I wanted to go through a few items and let you know how they're doing if you haven't been watching on the auctions. And first I wanna start with what we started out with this cobweb, spider web afghan, which was created by uh, Reverend Bowen. This is a fantastic item. It's the perfect time of the year to enjoy this. And I just know there's a lot of people out there that want this. You can even like have it as a shawl and you have a spider web coming down your shoulder. So don't wait. This is currently at $51. It is a a design that Bowen created. And I don't know that you could probably get a spider web table cover someplace, but you know what? It might be plastic or it might be cloth. That is a handmade Afghan. So you don't want to miss out on that one. The other thing that I kind of brought to people's attention is these Oracle cards by uh, Doreen Virtue, they're doing very well. They're at $35 or so. I fully expect them to go higher. It has five or six people watching them and these are highly collectible. I don't have the winged horse here, but that is our most watched item. It's currently, it's currently at $51, 15 people watching it. It's, it should get some bidding tomorrow. If people buy on Sundays, we don't know. But yeah, you can get it on eBay. I've seen it priced at from $90 to $128. So $51 is a bargain. Uh, now here's something. And last time, this sculpture, Calais, or Calais, this, I want to reiterate, this was a, a sculpture created by Lindon company back in, 2000, in the early 2000s. And that was a collaboration between, you may know him as Don Lewis, Reverend Don Lewis and Linda Wittenberg. Now, last session I messed up on her name, but they were the two people that created this. And talking to Reverend Don, by the way, this is something that I was given as a gift and I donated for this. Uh, Don, uh, basically Linda did on this unit, they would take turns because they created many different uh, pieces. But in this particular case, Linda Wittenberg created the, the form, the uh, structure of Calais and Don did all the embellishment, the seashells and all that, he did that. And the reason this was so special to me is that early on, not early on, but uh, my joy god uh, guide is uh, Bart, and Bart is sort of like a, a young boy, blonde hair and all that, and he always reminded me, this guy's a little bit older, but anyway, this does not have any bids yet, it's an original sculpture uh, where Don Lewis was 
party to creating this with his partner, Linda. Okay, and that has no bids. If anything that doesn't have a bid at when this first group ends tomorrow, they will be relisted for another 10 days. And that will be the last time. Uh, I just wanted to point out a couple other things. The, uh, oh, let's see here. What else? Okay. By the way, I don't know if you remember this snake, serpent, dragon, uh, coil bracelet. That's doing very well. That's at $31. And you'll notice that in some cases, people are bidding above even what the price tag for these new items have on it. Well, let me remind you, we are a 501c3 organization. And because of that, you could, in th you could, in all practicality, the difference between, say, the opening bid and what you pay for it is, would be considered a donation, something above the value. Now, we start low, but in many cases, these are used items, even though they're highly collectible, but you would be certainly able to take the difference between what the opening bid was and what you ultimately paid for as a taxable donation. Uh, something I thought would get bid on much sooner was the mermaid shelf that was donated by Reverend Stephanie Neal. That's still sitting out there waiting for your friendly bid. This really is quite a nice piece to hang on your wall and just put that special object on top. Uh, and then we have the, uh, oh yeah, the specialized Carillion products. There was a group of them I mentioned in the first auction between numbers, say 24 through 30 or so, 31. And uh, there was two analysts created by Emerald Earthheart and the Under the Hill is doing phenomenal. That's the one with a handcrafted peony in the center of it. And then the other one is the uh, ancestor amulet, which contains uh, dirt from the matriarchs of the Carillion tradition from their grave site in which she had visited last year uh, in Danville. So that's pretty much where we were, the, the key items I wanted to mention where we were. Now I wanna introduce you to some new items. I think I may have shown this uh, at the last, it, hadn't, it wasn't listed in the first group, but this is an Eye of Tiger tower and it comes with additional stones for creating a grid. This is just beautiful. Uh, the pictures, I tried to get pictures of it, but if you're familiar with Tiger's Eye, it just had such a depth into it when you when you peer into the, the that, into the, stone itself of course this has been worked to create into a power uh, a tower so uh consider this it does have a bid but as you may notice a couple of the other the obsidian tower and the amethyst tower are well above this one so you still may have a bargain there and for you bidders who i'm talking about items that you bid on remember this is for charity this is for the tradition and if you get outbid, I'm sorry to hear that, but if it raises more money for the tradition, that's great. And here's something that was added a couple of days after. It's an obsidian ball, solid, it's beautiful. It is, it is weighty with a stand. This was donated by uh, Lady Diane Lewandowski. It's a beautiful item. Uh, And next we have a book. We have very few books in the auction this year. Normally uh, we have a great many books, but uh, I'm kind of glad that we have so few because that way they become more shoppable or biddable. But this is a book, Edgar Cayce's famous black book. It's something there's, uh, it, it's a very active book. People buying it on eBay and probably through Amazon as well. It's like brand new. So this is still available, no bidding, no one has bid on that yet. And all these items that I'm bringing up right now, these were added after. So after I started the auction on October 1st, then each day I would add a few more. 
And by the time we get through tonight, you'll see some of the items that I just added tonight. So, and they'll have a good 10 days of visibility on eBay. Now here we have another statue. This is really a cute little thing. Well, kind of wisdom-like, but it's a magician or a wizard gazing into a reflective pool with a crystal ball on his hand, donated by uh, Reverend Diane Fogel. It's uh, in great condition. It has a felt bottom and it's uh, available for bidding. And here was a cool item. This is uh, just to give you an idea what number I'm up to. This is number 43. And this is a, uh, oh, <laughs> isn't that something? Oh, wait a minute. I can check my notes here. Geode. It's a slice of a geode that has been wrapped in sterling silver to form the basis for a pendant. And it has a loop on the top for your chain. And really this one, except for the fact that the, the silver work in the back uh, creates a lip for it, it's really best to be worn this way. It looks so much nicer. Oops, there we go. So I try to take as good as pictures as I can, but I'm really not a jewelry type. I don't have the equipment with maybe lighting and stuff like that. So it, it really is a nice, uh, a nice piece very different. Now here was something new that was added, a black handled Athame that was added a few days after the start of the, of the auction and it's doing very well. I'm just bringing it to your attention. It's already, uh, let's see here. It's already, it's already up to $64. So uh, here again, this is the case of the generous bids that we're getting to support the tradition, and it is very much appreciated. Here we have a amethyst and aquamarine stretch bracelet. Well, I'm not going to stretch it onto my big wrist and hand, but uh, on the listing, you'll see the benefits of amethyst and aquamarine. It's very pretty. It's uh, with that aqua blue and the purple beads of uh, amethyst. And it has a little metal spacers in between. Very nice. That was donated by Lady Diane Lavandowski. And here, an obsidian. Now, I made a mistake on the listing. And once you get a bid, you can't change it. But I had listed this as being a Hindu goddess, Kuan Yin. And uh, I list it as Hindu and it's really Buddhist. So my apologies, but people are going after it anyway. It does have bids on it. This was donated by JCAM, that's Jack's Crystals and Minerals. And as I mentioned before, dig into them on Facebook, find their location. And they have twice weekly trunk shows that give you a chance to just really find many different crystals and minerals that you would want to have around you. And they're very knowledgeable. And keeping our pantheons well spread apart, here we have Isis, the goddess of a thousand faces in her winged form. This is a very dimensional sculpture. I would say it is a cold cast. Uh, it has faceted uh, I think they're actually clear, but they look as, uh, as mirrors because of the black background on the wings. So you can see how it just sparkles. And just think of it, you know, with a, a, a candle or two lit, low candle lit below it, it would just really give a beautiful image, uh, impression. <laughs> so, and this was donated by uh, Reverend Diane Fogel. And some, some of these donations are grouped together because uh, of how they came in. Uh, once, once the auction started, I still had boxes of uh, deliveries that had come in that I wasn't able to get into until after the auction started. And here we have the ever, ever popular Mists of Avalon book. 
This is a huge book that I think the shipping cost is higher than the starting bid and shipping is cheap for books. But this is in pristine condition. Uh, I don't know if it was even ever read because generally when you have a book this thick and you start reading it, it starts cracking and all that and there's no problem with the spine. So this is still available. No one has a uh, bid on it yet. Mists of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. This was probably the kickoff of the Avalon series. And then she went on to do some prequel stories and uh, sequel stories. I thankfully read all of them and it was very enjoyable. Okay, and that was uh, Reverend Diane Fogel as well. Now here's something that is that you don't see often, if at all, but it is basically a, it's a two pin, pin? <laughs> uh, it's usually like say if you wear a cloak or if you have a robe that opens up in the front, you can pin it to either side of it as sort of like an added decoration. It has a pentacle. Let me see, let me turn it the right way. It has a, a pentacle in the center as well as smaller ones at the very ends. It's very nice, very unusual. Uh, it's probably come in handy for ritual or for uh, witch uh, balls, uh, going to Renaissance fairs and things like that. So the, the pin, it just opens up like a safety pin so you can attach it. That was donated by uh, Lady Diane Lewandowski. Here we have another pendant. This one is a pentacle wrapped around by a snake with a very nice braided leather cord, very substantial, nice, nice and heavy, uh, but very, very nice. It's basically, you know, I think your normal uh, white metal on, on these type of things. You've seen them at, at uh, Pagan Pride Days and street fairs, stuff like that, so. Then we have a piece of black bead jewelry. It has some elongated beads at the bottom. I, I, you'll see the better photograph in the, uh, on, on the auction site, but it comes with a pair of post earrings with matching black beads. And it's, uh, it's new, it comes like this, uh, an anonymous donor, but the anonymous donor sent in just a whole bunch of these things. And I know I'm not gonna get them all listed for this auction. So you'll be seeing items from this donor for a long time to come. She has steadfastly donated things as so many of our people have through the years. And And uh, consistently just, she basically says she looks for things when she's out shopping that she can donate. So she gets them and she got all this jewelry from an estate sale or something and uh, sent it all to us. So you'll be seeing a lot of different, a lot of different uh, variations of jewelry. Okay, and here we have a wire wrapped kyanite pendant. It's done in brass. brass wire, and this was donated by J. Cam again, your Jacksonville Crystal and Mineral on Facebook. So check them out, this beautiful, this doesn't have a bid yet, it has a beautiful blue look to it. And if you're familiar with kyanite, it has like striations in it and uh, slivers, and it really gives a nice effect. So this can be yours for the right price. Next, we have our first assortment of Heaven Scent Soaps. This is a uh, entrepreneur out in the Midwest area. This is lavender bath salts. And lavender, of course, is a very soothing, peaceful, uh, great way to take soak in it, soak in a, a bathtub to really relax. 
or to prepare for ritual. But that, that, this is a lot of three. It comes with lavender uh, bath salts and beeswax lotion bar. Now this particular one, the scent is honey. The, the person who donated this anonymously, basically uh, a friend of hers sells these by going to like uh, far, uh, farm uh, flea markets and uh, farm markets and things like that. All handmade, all natural ingredients. And uh, because of the pandemic, he hasn't really been going out to him this year. So he offered to, through her to donate for our auction. And however, his stuff is available online at Heaven Sense Soaps, Heaven Sense Soaps com. So it's the bath salts, the beeswax, lotion bar, honey scent, or honey feeling. I don't know if honey has a scent, but and then a little spongy, multicolor spongy. Aha, I showed you a black handled athame before, where here we have a Celtic cross dagger. It shows up very nice in the pictures. This is, this got bid on almost as soon as it was up. We've gotten a very generous bid on it already, over a hundred dollars. So I just wanted to show you that. If I had had this in time for the first group, I probably would have shown it to you last week, but, and it comes in its own uh, sort of like specialized recess box so that you can keep it from harm. All right, many of you were already probably know Mary Ann Kay, but Mary Ann Kay sent in one of her crystal ball pendants. It's a clear quartz crystal ball. You can see pictures that she was nice enough to photograph because she obviously has a much better camera than I do. And she knows how to take pictures of jewelry because she in fact has a Etsy store, My Mystic Gems at Etsy, as well as some other locations. Uh, but her main store is on Etsy. Uh, She's well known throughout the Corellian and Witch School uh, crowd, that's for sure. She's, she's been a, always a supporter of Witch School and the tradition. And uh, she has in her store, just so you know, she deals with quality over, I think over 5,000 sales and over 1,600 in favorable feedback and comments about what she sells. So this is available. And because it was a late entry, nobody has jumped on this yet. So you really want to try and get this. And what does it do? It can serve as a on the moment pen pendulum. You're on the go and then something comes up. You got your pendulum right there. The next thing we have, not really a thing, it's the jewelry. It is a rainbow moonstone and garnet pendant. It's in sort of like an antique finish. I would say this is sterling silver metal around it. It still has this tag on it that says what it is, donated by uh, Lady Diane Lewandowski, but it's the rainbow moonstone and the garnet right above it. And she added a chain to it, new with tags, here is something that she picked up at Macy's. The chain itself, it's a box chain. Yeah, that's what it's called, a box chain. And uh, the price tag on that is $85. So, so the chain and the pendant all for one money. And the moonstone really, yeah, you can't really get the feel and the beauty of these stones until you're seeing them in person. And next we have another item from Jack, J. Cam, Jacksonville Crystals and 
minerals. And here we have a, let me just check, Ethiopian willow, Ethiopian willow fire opal, which is wrapped with sterling silver wire. Really a beauty. It is absolutely gorgeous. The little plastic box that comes in has the $35 price tag on it. But I did note, and it's noted in the listing that there's a little, it's a natural nick on the, the back side of it. But the front side, say once you put a chain or a cord, cord on this, uh, the front side is, it's just opals have such a beautiful translucence. And I guess that's why this one is called a fire opal. It comes in a little, little bitty box. And next we have another bath lot, so to speak. There again, the beeswax lotion bar. This one, this flavor is Lily of the Valley. And plus two handmade soaps. One is blood orange and the other is confetti. Now, what does confetti smell like? Well, actually on the auction listing, if you go there, you'll see that I went to the website to get the idea of, there's some grapefruit in there and something else, but it's a citrusy uh, bar. And here again, it's all natural ingredients. I, I've shown it has palm oil and olive oil, coconut oil, so it should be great for your skin. So that's a three, three piece lot. Here again, these were put in later after the first group started and no bid yet. So you can get in here on a bargain. Next, we have a cuff bracelet. You know, I think of Wonder Woman. Well, here you go. You can ward off those Bullets, no, I'm only kidding about that. Don't even try. But this is uh, kind of unique. This was donated by uh, Lady Diane Lewandowski. It has a brown stone. It's nicely trimmed around. It almost has a look of how uh, sterling silver ages. I don't for a minute believe this is sterling silver, but it has that look to it. It's some type of a, a white metal. Uh, it still has a price tag in it. $34.50. The brand name is Natural Elements and it was made in India. So, so often we think of things that are made in India as brass, but this is, this has a, uh, this is silver metal. And then we have an anonymous donation. It's a diamond art kit. Now, during these times of the uh, COVID-19 issue, a lot of people are staying at home. Well, here's a chance to do some art. And this is called diamond painting. And the, the, uh, there's, it includes the canvas and the applicator and everything. If you check out the listing, you'll see it. It might be a nice inexpensive uh, craft project, but the, uh, the title of the finished picture when you do it, it's not a paint by numbers, but it might be something similar to that where you have a diagram of what color to use, but it's called Soulmates. And it's basically a, a horizontal. And I think I mentioned it, it shows that the size is 22, 25 by 20 uh, centimeters. That's about 10 by eight, 10 by eight. So it's suitable for framing. And I guess uh, it has a look of glam if it's diamonds. That was an anonymous donation. And next we have what I would say it's uh, brand new. It is a, a blue stone set in silver. It's from K Jewelers. It has a K Jewelers box with it. But let me just kind of show this to you. You'll see better on the auction page or in the item page. It uh, has a nice little, like a spiral-like setting that goes up and around the blue stone. Uh, aquamarine, I, I don't know. Uh, stone people, crystal people would probably know better from looking at it, but 
Uh, it does come from K Jewelers. It's in a K Jewelers box. So, and that was donated by Lady Diane Lavendowski. Now here we have a, a flying witch on a broom and jack-o'-lantern bag. I refer to it as like a travel bag. It's actually kind of nice and deep and it comes with a matching uh, tissue pack. So you put your little facial tissues in there and I, I call it a travel bag. It, it sits, if, you, if I had a flat surface, it's sort of like, sits almost like a bowl, so easy access. And in the listing, I even talk about it as being uh, a good place to put your trick or treats, your, your treats for trick or treaters uh, when you're waiting for them to come. This was handmade by Lady Angela Munn. It was actually uh, in our last auction. And every so often we do have auctions, people bid on things and they don't come through. Well, it's not like eBay, you do that on eBay and you get a strike against you. So I know we won't have that problem with this, this year, but this was, uh, it's very nice. Oh, another book, but this is only the third book in our auction this year. And this is, I think John Beckett's newest book, uh, Paganis Paganism in Depth, A Polytheist Approach. So uh, it's, it's brand new. Uh, I have it as an anonymous donor, but actually it was sent by Llewellyn. I used to do the uh, uh, Shine, Pagan Shine show on Blog Talk Radio in which uh, Llewellyn would send me some advanced copies of books. Uh, this guy, this kind of got lost in the mail after we moved. It ended up at our old house and the people who bought our house eventually called us and said, hey, you got a bunch of books over here. In the meantime, I had stopped doing the Pig and Shine show, but uh, so this is available. It's like $19 list price. So it's a real bargain. And it's, I think it's his newest book. One item that was listed late too, and this was just as the uh, Celtic dagger was donated by uh, Lady Low. She also donated this handmade, what I call a book of shadows book or journaling, but it's all covered with natural materials. There's leaves that have been pressed on it and bark, and there's even like bound with twine, natural twine around a stick. And the back is all leaf covered. Now I did, there was a flaw because it is uh, leaves up here. This area, you'll see in the photo photograph that it was lifted up a little bit in the photograph on the auction. Uh, I put a little glue back there so it didn't get any worse. But this is unused, all with Beautiful textured paper inside too. It's like one side is smooth and the other side is textured. So it'd make a great book of shadows. And as you saw last week, we had a, a cape in the auction. And I'm happy to say we have another one. This one is black. This one's black with blue lining. This one's shorter than the other one, the blue with the uh, gold lining, and it has a hood, as you can see. So, and it ties, it's velvet with a satin lining. Very nice, and I don't think you'd have to worry about the length on this one. And this is something that you will see added uh, over the next day or so. Probably tomorrow, <laughs> if not today. Uh, and that is pretty much, oh no, no. Here, this is donated by Reverend Stephanie Neal and it is a Tarot Quick Reference Guide. Uh, she did this, as you are likely aware, Stephanie is uh, very much into Tarot, her book, which is in the auction. Uh, 
the discovery, the Tarot discovery pack. Uh, and this was something else that she created as a part of the Global Tarot Association at her website, stephanieleonneal.com. You can learn and see so many things about Tarot as well as all, all of her other teachings that she has done through the years. She created this website uh, early at the beginning of the pandemic, really. And it's a beautiful website. As I mentioned last week, you can go there if you're interested in a particular Tarot deck. She has links for flips on YouTube. And it's sort of like a, a go-to place for the Tarot. Now in this, this is basically a set of seven cards. And what it entails is key elements for the different, uh, like say the, min the minor arcana, uh, key set words from aces through to the kings. And this way when you're, not only when you're learning the tarot, but even after you're an adept at it, is that you sometimes, well, you know, you're, you're doing a reading and you sort of get a, a brain lag or something like that about the threes or the fours. And this is just a quick way to shuffle through your cards and, you know, look at different phrases. Plus it is, uh, uh, it's not glossy on the side of the words. The backs of it are all the same. But if, if you think of other terms, other words that you want to remind yourself of when you're doing a reading, you can write in the in the uh, margins. So there's the minor arcana key, uh, the minor arcana then for wands, aces through king, cups, aces through king, swords, aces through kings, and pentacles. And then in addition, the major arcana is broken out into two cards, you know, starting with the fool, zero and it goes up to to 10 and then it continues on a second card and basically it was done in two cards because in order to have the printing large enough so that it's usable so that is uh the tro quick reference guide and there again that'll be uh going up within the next day or so as we finish off the amount of new listings all right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the update. I hope you are in thrilled about how well the auction is doing as much as I am. The tradition appreciates your attention to this. And keep in mind, if you are bidding on something, say in the first group that ends tomorrow, but you're also bidding in something that will end later on, no problem. I'm going to all winners and for the first time, I have no idea who's bidding. I can figure out a couple names. There's a couple things that are, uh, I'm familiar with them using that uh, alter name, uh, possibly just like I, I, I might be known as Mick Mick at times, you know, so if I bid as Mick Mick, you know, people would be able to tell, but I believe all bidder IDs are hidden anyway from each other. Uh, so uh, there again, when, the bidding is over and you're the winning bidder, I'll contact you and just ask you when you want me to send the invoice. Because I don't want to send you an invoice and then five days later, you, you want to wait on something so you can save money with shipping. I want you to save money so you can spend it on bidding. Uh, so I'll just basically send you a message through eBay. Let me know when you want the invoice, when you're done bidding and you've gotten everything that you won or you, you won what you won and you didn't win what you didn't win, but, and then I'll send it to you. Because if I send it to you right away and eBay, if you don't pay in two days then they start dunning you and I don't want to do all that. I'd rather, I'll hold off on invoicing. And if you say, hey, invoice me now, I want that right away. Like say the, the cobweb Afghan. I want to have that for my Halloween decorations this year. I'll take that now even though I have other things. And there's be a few items that just won't be able to be mailed together. But my purpose besides raising money for the tradition is trying to save you as much money on shipping as possible. So I thank you. I thank you for your time listening to our auction. And here again, you just have to go to eBay. And if you put in this top search board, 
CNT auctions, all one word. That's capital CNT, capital A, and then auction, U C T I O N S. You will come directly to where all of our active listings are. And you can just scroll down and click on what you want to look at closer. I've tried to include as many pictures as possible so that you can evaluate things on your own. Well, through a picture. Uh, but these uh, videos have helped to give you a little bit better look at some of the items. So I want to thank you and uh, wish you all the best. Be well, be safe, and be blessed. Thank you.